Hello, hello. It's Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And me. And it's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time in Georgia. <laughs> yes, so we released our stamp set today. And boy, I have to tell you, we've been busy. Um, Y'all have been so wonderful, so supportive in our new um, stamp set called spring blossom and so this is what it looks like and i've been having so much fun so now one of the cards that i got a lot of messages about was this card right here which is like a wreath card and i couldn't i was just like oh my goodness i need to go ahead and do this live so i'm still pulling a few things together because bill and i were really busy today just looking at a lot of your messages getting uh, ready to process these orders. <coughs> I'm just asking some questions that y'all have, have had. So I thought, you know, it'd be nice to take a break and make a card similar to this. We have so, a couple of people on. Hi, Madonna Friedman. Hey, Madonna. Carol Lundy is back. How are y'all doing? Amy Lorenzo, Kathleen Germain, Georgia Bliss, so many. Sineda is here. Oh, Sineda, good. I'm glad you made it. It's so many. I can't even name the people. So y'all are not going to believe. This is going to be an A2 size card. Of course, my favorite size card. Right, Marquise. Um, so we're sure. going to make this one right here. So, And it's pretty easy to pull this together. So I'm going to be using the VersaFine ink to stamp um, some of the images out. I went ahead and cut some of these out already just to make it um, a little less... Um, time consuming, right? I love fussy cutting, so that was a nice calming activity for me <laughs> today. And we're gonna be adding some sparkly stuff to our card too. So of course we need some sparkly things also. And this card layout, you can make this card layout um, even if you don't have this um, particular stamp set. Just, you know, if you get a good idea and it gives you some inspiration, go for it and try making that. So let's see, what am I going to do? All the things I need, I need some ribbon. I got my pink ribbon. Let's see if that fits. Oh, that just about fits. Probably going to need some tape to tape that up. So who else is on here, Bill? A lot of people. Hold on a second. Awesome. Let me answer that in a minute. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm so glad that y'all could join us this evening. And got me some tape because I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some tape. Okay, <laughs> so let me just put some of this stuff aside so you can see what I'm doing here. That Shima Phillips is back for round two. All right, nice. I'm so glad that y'all could come. Y'all are super excited. It's been an exciting day um, for us as well because we really love the fact that y'all love this stamp. Donna Satterley is back. And so we're going to use this stamp right here. And I'm going to actually stamp that out so you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to color it in. So I'll color in that one so you can see what coloring I use on it. My coloring is not fancy. It's basically, let me just color something and make it look good. <laughs> That's my coloring technique. I can't make this up. So I want to make sure I'm in the frame so that y'all can see me okay. Got my little paper here to stamp out some stuff on. And this is that side view flower right here. Look at that. I'm really loving that. I've been playing around with this one for a while now, and I just can't get enough of it. So many different ideas. Jim, for real, hello. Now, for this circle, let me just uh, real quick, this circle right here. Now, some of y'all might have a big old circle punch. I do, I do not. <laughs> I use this. This is what I did, and I just put it here and traced it, and then that's how I got the circle for my wreath on here. So you just have to use the tools that you already have. Okay, so let's go ahead and punch this out. Well, I cannot while you get ready to do that, uh, 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 what's it at? Uh, is it? Sineda Rodriguez says, Tracy, what do I do to make my stamp stick to the acrylic block? Um, 
If you have this right they here, should, it'll stick out for forever bad. They should automatically stick on the block. Um, I'm not sure why your, yours is not sticking. Does it have some kind of um, debris on it, possibly? Maybe it has some kind of lint on it that has stopped it from sticking. I would actually, um, I don't like to use, I haven't used any soap on my um, stamps when I when I do them. I just use just regular wet, look, I'm just using this, some wet wipes. But I'm thinking if, make sure it's the flat part that's sticking. So if I was to peel this off, this is the part that has like a little grid on it, like for your for where you're gonna lay down your stamps. This part right here, if it's not sticking to your block, it might be that it has something that needs to be cleaned right underneath here. I, I'm, I'm just trying to see if I'm explaining that right. Not on this side, but this part right here, if it's not sticking to your block. But these, these photopolymer stamps, which is what these are, they stick extremely well. But if you get something between there, I'm thinking it's not sticking properly because there might be some kind of debris between there. Maybe, I'm not sure. Is it a large um, stamp that you're using, Seneda? Is it Seneda who asked that question? Yes. And maybe someone else who's on here tonight um, has had that problem before. I've never had that problem. I usually try to clean my stamps like as soon as I use it. And I try to make sure that when I finish using my stamps, they go back inside this acetate to protect it. So you got that acetate with the front and the back. I always put it back in there pretty much right away if I if I can, or pretty much after I finish um, making my card. But I never leave them out overnight. They always go right back in there. Once I finish cleaning them and letting it dry, let it air dry for a little bit, and then put it. I put it back in here. So I'm not sure if that's helping. So that's my little error right there. But I wanted to show y'all how this stamps out. And so far it stamps out pretty good. A um, couple questions that uh, we were asked. Uh, Mr. Desuare says, Hi, Trace and Bill. I'm so excited about your new stamp set. I'm definitely buying this one as well. Can you please make several stamp sets that are various occasions sentiments only, large and fall, small font? Uh, we actually have, um, we got a few in the works for that. Yep, sure do. Yes, and also I answered, if y'all didn't read it, that uh, we're going to be making stamp sets for all occasions. Of course, you have to start. It'll be building up, but. Yeah, we've already, we've got a calendar for the entire year um, that we put, and then we add like what year we're going to release, what part of the year we're going to be releasing our stamps. So that's, that helps keep us on track, too. Yeah, in between that, even more are going to be coming out. Okay, so you're going to need to <clears throat> the base for your card. But I also added another layer on this card where my wreath is going to go, the circle for my wreath. So let's go ahead and start this. I'm just going to color in um, one of these. Let's see, that one stamped out pretty good. And so I'm starting with this light pink. I'm using my tumble markers. And this is just some card stock that I stamped out on. And so then here's my coloring technique. Have fun. Okay, that's my technique. <laughs> so I'm just taking these and just coloring in this pink here. And this is like a really light pink. And then I can go in with the darker one and add some more to it to give it more depth. And just give it a little bit more detail. So this is basically what I'm doing. The middle is going to be a cute little, um, that middle part is going to be orange. And so once I put this, so you see, I'm just coloring in the whole thing first, then I'm going to go back with my darker color. Now, sometimes what I do is I like to take my uh, marker and just go back in to darken it up with the lighter marker. That's why I like the Tumbos, because you can always just darken it, darken it even more by going back over some of the places. But for now, we're just gonna color this in. I'm hoping y'all can see this okay. I tried to get pretty up close with my camera. How do I look over there, Bill? Good. Okay, great. Okay, so just giving it some color there. 
Right, so now you lay down your first bit of color on there. And my thing is just to have fun. Don't stress about it. Just go ahead and do some stuff. So now I'm just taking the same marker and I'm just going right around the line, just barely around the edge here. Barely around the edge. Look at that. And I'm just making it a little bit darker, just a little bit, not much. Can you tell I love coloring? Look, I was the type that had the coloring books in the dentist's office. They used to have coloring books at the dentist's office, Bill. Did they? You don't remember those? It was like no, because I was, was always like, reading uh, the Dr. Seuss books. It was like a cat, like some kind of cat coloring book, I yes, remember. Yes, Tina Bruder. Bruderer says, are y'all into international shipping yet? And Tracy, the answer is... Yep. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay, so now I use that really light pink. Now I'm going to take another shade of pink. And I'm going to take this. And I'm just going to go over the areas that I think should have a shadow. And just go in a little bit darker. And I'm not like drawing a line. I'm just tapping it just a little bit to add some color. Are y'all still with me? <laughs> yes, they are. Going around this little middle part to give it a little bit more darker. So you see how it's starting to change a little bit there? You see that? What's really interesting, Jerry Reed says, Tracy, I have really, I have really started to come out of my comfort zone and start using more bold colors. Awesome. Thank you for the inspiration. You are so welcome, Jerry. Thank yourself, Jerry. You released yourself right. to do that. We're in this crafter's prison sometimes, <clears throat> this creativity prison that we lock ourselves in and we have the key. That's the thing. We're in this, this creativity prison. I don't know how to say it. And we actually have the key to unlock it. Just have to step outside of your comfort zone. So right down on this bottom part here of the flower, to me, it needs to be darker right here. So I'm just going in and I'm just still tapping just a little bit. But boy, I tell you, the detail on this one little flower. So now I'm going in with this. This looks more like a berry almost. A berry red, all just about. It really looks dark. I don't know how it looks on the camera here, but it's going to be even darker. So I'm kind of taking this and I'm going to go in here and make this area right here even darker just right in there and I'm just tapping it right around here where that petal is on top of the other petal the flower petal there just right there just doing my own thing not trying to be perfect just having some fun here and see where that leaf curves up curves in right there I'm just going along here and there you go Boy, you're quiet over there, Bill. I'm responding. Okay, so you see how that's starting to come? Just simple. And you get, I, you know, you just kind of experiment, get better and better at it. You know, just, just do your own thing. Okay, stamp out a bunch of them and then just go in and color them. Try different colors. Try the greens with the yellows and the... Purples with the oranges, whichever oh, you want to do. Kathleen Elliott said, Jerry, Tracy saved my life on a very bad day. Oh. Keep color in your life. Yes. So now I'm just taking my yellow and I'm going in the middle there. That's it. So now look, you see all of these? That's basically the, the technique. And then you just kind of fussy cut them out, right? Let me say one so let me thing. show you how you quickly I'm going to, uh, this happen. So, yeah, go ahead, Bill. Okay, Tina Bruderer says she wants to know how much is the international shipping in Europe. I can't answer those kind of questions exactly, but if you go to the store, just go to the cart and put it in. When you get to the point where it talks about the shipping, just enter that part and it'll give you the options well before you ever have to commit to the uh, purchasing, if the price seems too high for what you're trying to do, then yeah, you you won't you will obviously be able to abort it without committing yourself. 
But, yeah, we'll show you before you purchase. But it's only about two two ounces. It couldn't be that bad. <clears throat> right. It just depends on where you live. And nice thing is about um, our store is that it will calculate it for you based on where you live. Okay. So you see just that little bit right there. And so for this size of a wreath, this circle, but and if you want to go smaller, you can. Now you're going to start lining these up on here. That's the, one of the first things I did is I lined it up first so I can see how many I would need. Look at that, y'all. Look how this is coming together. Isn't this adorable? Carol Lundy says she really needs to practice more with her brush markers. Just figure out how I need to have water when I blend. I have a cheaper set from Hobby Lobby before I go pro. Then I'll get those combos. That's what you do. You just work with what you have. Carol, I'll tell you what. I've said this before, but I have great difficulty staying in the lines. And I really would say that with a grain of salt. It's not that I have great difficulty. I, my patience doesn't allow me to want to stay in between the lines. But if you look at the tips of these tumbles, they are so incredible. They just force me to stay inside those lines with absolute ease. Okay, so you see how I got that lined up now? Now I can glue them down, right? Before I do that, let's work on our leaves. Hi, Yvonne. The Quilting Marine is on here. Uh-oh. Hey, the Quilting Marine. It's Marcus at work, everyone. How She's, you doing? She says she loves those flowers. Thank you. We're making a wreath style card. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to just now do the um, the leaves here. And just just going in and just coloring them, just you know, some basic coloring here. And we're gonna put some leaves on our wreath. So that stamp set has a leaf, y'all, for, for y'all to to add to your flowers. I don't know if y'all could see that. It's got a leaf. So I wanted to give you enough images on this stamp set so that you wouldn't have any restrictions. You can do as many different card layouts, and you'll be seeing those in upcoming weeks, um, all the different kinds of cards that we're going to make using this stamp set. And so now we're just going to cut this out. Easy cutting there. Let's cut these out. So, Bill, what is what are we? Hold what's up. going on there? I feel left Hold out up. of the conversation. How many people are on here? Hold up. We got thirty thumbs up right now. Yeah, y'all give this video a thumbs up. It's because of y'all encouragement while we while we started uh, creating our own stamp sets. Um, a lot of you were saying, um, if I would ever consider making my own stamp sets, and I am really enjoying the process. It has been an amazing journey so far. We're still learning. We're not afraid to learn. Um, and we just said, let's go ahead and do it. So you don't have to have every step figured out. Um, you just go ahead and, and get started. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Daniel, she ordered her set. All righty, that. Okay, so now we got our leaves. We're going to go ahead. Let me show you how I line this up because sometimes you don't want to glue these down yet because you're like, what if I glue it in the wrong spot? So let me get my art glitter glue here. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to stamp this with Happy Spring before I even put my flowers down. Because I would hate to put those flowers on there and then my Happy Spring <laughs> come out. 
comes out kind of discombobulated, okay? Carolina says she loves that umbrella too. So can you please just do something with that? Oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what we do with the umbrella because the umbrella is gonna be something for like a shower. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm going to just, you can stamp this out in whatever color you want, but you notice I wanted the spring to be kind of off kilter. I didn't want it to be just lined up happy and spring. I kind of have it kind of, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of, I guess off kilter. I don't <laughs> but I didn't want it to just be lined up perfectly. I want it to be kind of fun. Okay, so now we can start the gluing down process on this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm taking this and I'm not gluing like, well, you'll see when I start this. If I can unclog this glue, you'll see it. And I had my pen in there, but it still wanted to clog up. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm gluing it kind of in the middle here. I want to leave the edges up because to me the edges have a little bit more dimension. So I'm putting the glue closer to the bottom there. And then I am taking this, you see that little petal right there, lining it up there, and this little petal, that helps me, that helps me kind of line up my, my stamp on there, right on the edge there, because I don't want that white showing through. I want it to look really full. Now I'm gonna take the other one here, and I'm gonna place this one at the bottom. So I'm kind of filling it in until everything is good to go. 957 says, when you were putting the flowers on the circles, I thought how cute it would be the how cute it would be to have it as hair on a face like the cabbage patch kid. Oh, see how everyone thinks of their own, like when you see something, that would actually look. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. So you see, I'm taking the petal, lining it up against here this petal line it up. That way you look like a nice even circle. So that's the way I would do it to get it to look even. So y'all seeing the whole process. When y'all saw this card, I have to tell y'all went like wild over this card right here. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to show you live, which is kind of daring to do this live, babe, you know, this particular card. Oops. And look what I did. I turned it. The petals you want to be turned outside. So just remember that. <laughs> okay. And there we go. So you see I'm just filling it in. So it looks like someone's bald head and you're filling it in with hair, basically. <laughs> there you go. It almost like ears. And this is like a goatee. <laughs> this is like right a puff of hair. Like oh, a, that's funny. Like the top. That is funny. You actually could do that. And then you could. The, from this you moment could. on, you make facial features. You could do that. Like those eyes I'm always trying to put on something. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Nada Rodriguez said, did you receive my happy mail? I think you did, didn't you? Um, you know what? Remember. So Nada, when did you send it? When, when did you send it? Because... I don't know if we have to go back to the uh, post office again. The when would help. I feel like I've gotten more than one package from Seneda. I think so too. Seneda is so sweet. Yes, she is. She sent Bill, look, she sent Bill some candy. I ate it. it I think it was sent for me. <laughs> yeah, you did eat it. it might as well have been for me because it, it went. Uh, Yes, it did. Sineda, he totally enjoyed that that um, candy. Okay, she says she sent it out last Wednesday. We'll have to check. Oh the no, I did. I definitely didn't get it then. We've kind of been out a little bit. No, if she if she sent it last Wednesday, definitely. We'll be checking. But we'll be going. Yeah, we have to go tomorrow because we have to get <clears throat> we have to get y'all stuff, y'all orders sent out. Oh yeah, we'll be definitely. Yeah, so we'll be at the uh, post office tomorrow. What's up, Brian? Dickie is in the house. Uh oh, Brian, Dickie, how are you? So you see how I'm filling it in, so everything looks nice and even. I can't make it go. 
So here's what we're doing here. <coughs> Put this right in here. I'm just slipping that right in there because I want this to be a full wreath. I can't have one of those naked wreaths. <laughs> that's cool. It's got to look pretty full. So that's this is just my way of doing this. And it looks like I'm going to need one more flower. So I'm really... You know what I was thinking you could do? You could probably put a face in here, like a kid's face, or like a like you were giving someone something. You know then, what? You could do that. And then circle it with the rest, and then put the put, and kind of put it on a card on top of some humpers. You know what I'm saying? And that would be nice. That would be cute, babe. Yeah. Well, it sounds like Bill has found one of his videos, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> what do y'all think? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Yep, so we need one more. I have to have that one more in there. You do. Because I really fill this one up. So y'all get to see me coloring again. So you see how easy this is? Don't stress about it. Mindless crafting, just go ahead and do it. Some of y'all ask me questions that you already have the answer to because y'all be like, Tracy, what if I Mod Podge on wood? Yes, go ahead and do it. What if I do it on plastic? Go ahead and do it and show me what you did. What if I... <laughs> it's almost like y'all are asking me permission to do something. And my thing is go do it and tell me so I can be inspired. Tell yeah. me how it worked out. Mumley Berg says... Hello. Just saying hello for the first time. You and Bill blessed me so much. Love the new stamp set and your new cards. And I can't wait to have the heart dog oh, available. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that heart. I showed this morning in the live. I showed uh, the, next stamp uh, set. Uh, the next stamp set. One of the cards I did from our next stamp set. Because I, I have the prototype. We're just waiting um, for it. It should be here soon. So, um when I showed that card, and um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give y'all a glimpse of it tonight again. There were two cards that we showed. Y'all went crazy over that heart dog. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen German. We're trying to do some some unique stamps. Um, I like to take stamps and make something else, uh, just something different, you know. And hopefully, I can inspire y'all. So this is. Um, one of those journeys, you know, never did I thought when I was sitting in class at Rutgers University that I'd be designing my own stamp set. So Carol, you just never know where this journey will take you. Carol Lee says, I saw a technique where the lady traced a light circle directly on the card, then stamped around that lightly circle with some branches of leaves and then colored it. Oh, that's a good idea. See, good but, idea. Kathleen says she wanted the birdhouse. You know what, Kathleen? I want to see that birdhouse, too. I'm dying to see something. Oh, yeah. I've been pestering Tracy. Tracy, do the birdhouse. I know. The Once birdhouse. Here's the thing. Once I got that, um, the next stamp set, when y'all see that. Once I got that, the prototype for that, because I get to test them out before we actually put it into production. So I get to play with the stamp sets first, make sure they stamp out right before I give them to y'all. You know, before we put them in the store. So we want to make sure everything is right. So when I, um, I've been playing with that stamp set. <laughs> that, that's what I've been doing. Believe me, she has. So I'm going to go ahead and play with the birdhouse too. I got some things in mind for the birdhouse. But my mind just went like, what? I've got to use that. I've got to use this. I have to Bill, I got to make the Bill is like, I'm like, Bill, go look at the cards that I made. So yeah, these are are fun for coloring. Um, that's what was one of the things I wanted with stamp sets. When me and uh, my illustrator John sat down, one of the things that I told him because he can do a lot of details. He's so talented. I said we want to do some clean lines on these car on these stamp sets. Very clean images, um, easy to work with, easy for um, for coloring. And he said, "Up, oh, I got gotcha. you." That's still saying something because with that being said, this guy could actually do some Rembrandt type stuff if he had to, if, if called upon. But at the same time, if you want him to do a stick man, he can do that also. Yeah, he, he's so versatile in what he can create. There are no limits for him. And so I was so, 
He called me an artist, Bill, because I showed him some of my stuff, and he was like, "You know what? You got some skills." Actually, you are an artist. And that felt so good for him to be saying that because this man has illustrated books. He's done some. Uh, he's done so many different things, and I was just like, so man. From Disney, all kind of things. I think. Check this out, yeah. though. Um, so look at that, y'all. Now the reason why I did it like this is because I wanted to have dimension. So guess what? What? <laughs> I'm going to need to put some of these on here. Bill's favorite. Yvonne says you make her want to run over and color some of those flowers. You need to come on then. My sister need to come over here so we can have a card party. Kathleen German says her mom loves birdhouses, so that's why she wants to make Ooh, a birthday card for March. That's going to be nice. Oh, her birthday's in March? Yes. So is mine. My birthday is March 11th. And you know I won't forget that day. <laughs> well, you be better living. not, y'all. I'll be sleeping in the birdhouse myself. Look, <laughs> why are he telling y'all that? He, why are he saying that as if it's because not it's true? true. Exactly. <laughs> you will not be sleeping in the birdhouse. I've been house. trained. I, I tell people it's so it's almost impossible to surprise Tracy because as you get closer to the day of whatever it is. Every movement she scrutinized. Why'd you stand? Why'd you sit? Where'd you go? Why'd you stand? How come the door open? Why the door closed? You know what I'm saying? So you have to kind of piecemeal and I am a hard person to here, surprise. This day, that I am day. a hard I'm into details. You know, it's if someone is off their game. <laughs> if someone is not doing the usual, I'm gonna definitely notice it, okay? Why'd you stand? Why'd you sit? You talk while you're quiet. I mean, just... <laughs> what are y'all doing? <laughs> Why aren't you doing now? Anything? That I will admit to that one thing. Now, my crafter's tape you see how that pretty that ribbon just just goes with that. Oh my goodness, y'all! I'm so excited about this. You bet Danny says she's just waiting for the, for the bubble letters, okay. The bubble, the bubble letters are coming. Waiting for the bubble yeah, letters. the bubble letters y'all threw us for a loop because we had everything planned out and then y'all were like, ooh, can you do bubble letters? <laughs> yeah, those bubble letters, they're fun. And I'll be designing that one myself. So that's going to be a fun one. Okay, so I'm just taping this around so that I can... I ran out of this... So I don't have much to play with here as far as this ribbon. And why not? But if you ever have thin ribbon and you're like, I don't know what to do with it, add it to your cards. It's just another thing that you can add to your cards. Okay, Bill, I'm getting ready to put this on here and I'm gonna use your favorite crafting tool. What? Humpers. <laughs> the mounting tape. <laughs> And this is the Dollar Tree mounting tape. All Dollar Tree. And you get quite a bit. Um, let's see. I may run out because I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some more. But uh, Bill can. <laughs> uh, Bill can what? It, it's up. It's upstairs. <laughs> I'm not gonna send him downstairs. I made sure I brought everything. <laughs> I brought everything from downstairs Good. because Bill would be like, yeah, let's see if we got these right here. I just might need some more of these. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> you might go to Dollar Tree. I think when I go Ooh, to Dollar look, Tree, look, Bill said we might go to Dollar Tree. No. I'll go and get, <laughs> and get them for you. He said we might need to go to Dollar Tree. Yes, we do. I almost stepped into that one, y'all. We. <laughs> you think you got Then I'll be like, uh, so where are you going? Kathy German, doing? don't even give her that idea. <laughs> Bill can run for you. How can Bill go to Dollar Tree without me? Hmm. See, that one is defective. Might be better to say, how can Bill go at all? I'm no, just kidding. I can go. But I go for one thing, usually. Bill goes right over to that snack section. I do. I Our get, Dollar Tree has, get he gets the cream soda. I sure do. And he gets, he's, there's this bag of cashews that he I likes. eat those things like a Rwandan refugee, okay? He really eats those things up. I love them. So, let's see now. Let's go ahead and put this on here. 
So this just gives my card a lot of dimension. And I usually add um, glue to my... I'm gonna, I was going to say I'm adding glue to my humpers. I'm adding them to the mounting tape, y'all. <laughs> exactly. You going to put the shiny stuff on? I'm going to put the shiny stuff on. I love on that there. stuff. Let me, let me get to it. Do you remember what the shiny stuff is called? Sticklers or something. Stufflers. What was it called? <laughs> Stufflers. <laughs> something with an S. Oh, you got to love them. You got to love them for trying, S. Okay. Look at that. So that's how I get the dimension on the card. It's adding that. I love dimension. Yeah. <laughs> you, like you love dimension? Life. You love to mention? I love dimension. <laughs> that was a Don Keating word almost. To mention. <laughs> Anna Bajot says, is this your second set? Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is, Anna. And the third set will be out soon. In days. Yes. Um, we got a little bit behind because there was some um, turbulent weather. The polar vertex. Coming from where uh, the stamps are manufactured. And so we had to kind of, had a little bit of a delay. So our next stamp set will be coming out very soon. We weren't thinking of releasing so soon after, but be an extra added treat for y'all. So I'm going to line that up. Look at that, babe. Look at that. Yes. Bill, look at that. I am just it's cool. In love with this. So now what I did was in order to tie the colors in here, and you don't have to do hold this. up close so they can see what it like before the colors. Maybe they can see all the difference afterwards. Okay, there you go. And so I'm just going to lightly take some yellow and just go just barely around the outside, just tapping. I'm not, um, because the watercolor can tend to, there's a watercolor markers. So they can tend to drag some of that other color, the black. So you kind of dotting it? So or? I'm just dotting it just gently around the edges. Look how fun this card looks, y'all. If you want to make it birthday, I mean, there's so many different things. Oh, we got a birthday stamp set too that we're gonna we have added to our list. That's one of our priority stamps that we're gonna be doing. And by priority, I mean it's just one of the things that you have to do. You got to do a birthday stamp. Exactly, because you can use it all the time. Yeah, but this I would use all the time because I love flowers. You know. What was That's okay? True. So. I'm going to go ahead and put these little gems on here. Add a little bit of bling to it. And mm. I'm just gonna put it right here. Bill, what you you having a conversation with yourself over there? <laughs> I heard you. And let's get this off of here. I need to cut this away first. These things are really sticky. Good. I mean, really sticky, babe. Okay, so let's so go ahead and... the sticky and... thing, then. Oh, I might want to take this top off, right? <laughs> Renee Neighbor says, what a beautiful card for Mother's Day. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Okay, I think we got this worked out here. This sticky stuff that's already on these gems, it's really sticky. <laughs> Look at that. It's like sticking to my nail. And I don't want to take my nail polish off, so. You know. But I need to get this on here before my art glitter glue dries. Okay. All righty. I think we got it now. There we go. Anna Bajot says her mom ordered both of these Sam sets for her. Oh, nice. What a wonderful mom. She is. Okay, so let's go <coughs> ahead and add our leaves in there. 
And so I'm just putting a little bit of glue on there. I got some tweezers somewhere around here too. <coughs> Have Bill find my tweezers on the cart. Have him do a search. Oops. I need my tweezers. My fingers are too big. See those right there, babe? On the cart? Where? Hanging right off the side. Tweezers. Yes, I yes. see them. There you go. Because I don't have the little fingers. I, I thought that fingers. was just there for decoration. <laughs> it's always good to have some tweezers in your craft room, right? Mommy Bird says you could put a paper doily underneath those beautiful flowers for a lacy edge. That is Ooh, a good that idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Mommy Bird went to another level now. Wait a minute. Good. See, that's why I love doing these because you can get like feedback and then you can try it out and see if that's something that you want to do. That is a good idea. Right, add like another level of elegance. Mm -hmm. Y'all gonna keep me in the craft room. Karen Chan says she's late. Karen, you're never late. Come on in this room. <laughs> Karen, come on in the craft room, okay? Okay, so now these right here, y'all. These crystal stickles. Oh my goodness. I am loving these stickles. All I'm doing is just dragging it along the leaf to give it some shine. I like that doily idea. Y'all gonna have me up in my craft room at the wee hours of the morning with new ideas. <laughs> wake up tomorrow. Bill's gonna wake up tomorrow morning and be like, you're still in the craft room? <laughs> and I'm just gonna go out the, I on, say the, that anyway. on the outside. <laughs> you say that like that's something new. <laughs> You know what I'm like, oh, only on this day will I be able to say this. You know. <laughs> so I'm just squeezing and just dragging this just a little bit. You you want to know something really interesting, everyone? If Tracy happens to not be in the craft room, or maybe she's even a little late, the dog will come and wait in the craft room for her. Yes, he does. Because he, 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 he has an internal clock like she should be here. He does do that. And sometimes he gets mad at me like, um, he does. hello. He started stung, clawing at her legs and feet and trying to get her into the room. And I'm like, what does he want? And sure enough, he wants me to be in the craft right. room. My little gooby, he's, <laughs> he's doing his thing. He's like, mom, you need, you know what you're supposed to be doing today. You're supposed to stop and do something that you love doing. Those three little, uh, Gems has really put a nice little thing on that. You know? It really has. A little subtle elegance. Now, it, for those of y'all don't know, know, that don't know, my camera, my poor camera that I've had for years, the mm. one that I record videos with, has is starting to bite the dust, it's okay? Pretty, it's about 70%. It's here. starting to bite the dust. I'm like... It's but a great camera. After too. almost a thousand videos yeah. on both of our channels, I think it, it just needs a rest now. Man, it did well too. Yeah, so we're gonna we're actually um we'll be looking for a new camera. Hopefully it's something easy because I do not like recording with anything like fancy and has a whole bunch of gadgets on it and but you know what? It the next <sighs> one probably be four K though. It'd still be four K. Okay. I just up. need to be able to press. And craft, okay? <laughs> and have 4K be the end result. There you go. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. This has to dry now, but oh my goodness. And you can make this as large or as small as you want. You don't even have, this does not have to be, this would be nice. You could make this into a Christmas wreath, Bill. Seriously. Yes, you could. You could, sure could. You know what I like? Hold on, let me say this. Which one you just, did you just do? I just did this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. This is cool, but I like how these, this is really dark. You know what? And I think that's because I used a different marker that I didn't really... Oh, you know what? What? I used a marker that was even but, but deeper you, in color. But you have two different types. So you have two, yeah. But that's still nice, though. It right. has a nice subtle... So when you look at all the pinks, even though this is considered like a red, here's what... Right, because flowers are different now. They're not all the same. Yeah, and, that, and that subtleness is, is nice, too. Yeah. So wouldn't, you, wouldn't someone love to receive a card like this? This would cheer up anyone's day. Look how cute this is. And now if I want, I can go in with my, like, pink 
um, my pink, uh, what is it? I got some Nouveau drops in pink, I believe. What do you think, Bill? What? <laughs> I don't know. What? What? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> ah, my hubby. I got some pink Nouveau drops. So what I'm going to do, let's see. I'm just going to test this out over here first before I'm letting this dry because I have had the tendency to make, to smear something. Donna Saturday says, we better buy plenty of stamp sets to help you out so you can keep making more. <laughs> oh, the, oh, for the, uh, we knew we were going to need a camera soon. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to do this on here. <laughs> I put in too much work. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, don't mess it up. Well, if I get the right um, pressure on here, I should be able to do it. What are you trying to do? I'm going to put some of these in here. Okay, but there you go. Okay, I'm going to go for it, y'all. Madonna's free. It's says all it's about the right amount of pressure on this. Just gently. Don't rush it. Don't rush it, y'all. So I'm trying this out for y'all. So y'all can decide whether you want to do them or not. Because you don't have to do this. But I just want to make sure you have lots of ideas of what you could do. So I'm just gently... So that's why I like to practice on a separate sheet first and then go in. Sometimes less is more also, but this, I, looks, I'm a this, looks, super, this looks super cute. Because I am I like dots, okay? Just, <laughs> and these are like little pearl drops. Look at that. So how many people do we have on now? I'm on my phone watching, uh, since the computer also bit the dust for a second. I hope my computer didn't bite the dust. You're not kidding. I love my computer. You're not kidding. It just when you needed it most, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at that. Oh my goodness. Bill, look. I wanted to keep it clean on this one when I did this. But then you know what? This, this is nice. I kinda I like this really now. Like, yeah, don't put your finger Ooh, too close. Look, hey, look, don't put your finger too little, close. <laughs> those little dot things, buddy. <laughs> He, he got Ooh. too close with his finger on my card, okay? It's still drying. Everything's drying, <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> you will get, Ooh, she just threw you me will out get chopped room. up never in the crab room, here, okay? okay? He was, he look, you will get, don't come too close to the card, okay? <laughs> Melanie Corberson said, well, she didn't say it, but I'm hey, saying Melanie. before, she says Bill can come as close as he wants. She didn't say that, but I Look, know she's thinking it. Thank Melanie, you, Melody, Melanie, for a certain in advance. Melody, you know when you put that time in your card, <laughs> my husband's finger got too close to that card, okay? <laughs> <sighs> the things us crafters, just the little things. We'll be in our craft room nice and calm, and here you come. <laughs> What's this? <sighs> you know... Oh, I like that card. What? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So how do y'all like that? Oh, there are 80 people watching. I didn't know. Oh, 83 now. How do y'all like that? Look at that. I'm trying not. This one's dry. This one's not dry. But this makes me want to go in and do this now. Do the same thing on this one, babe. You know, I, you're going to do And you can do, you know what? It. I have different colors. So I can take... Um, some different colors and go in with some different colors on this one too, of the Nouveau drops. You know, you could do, because the pink looks good, you could do yellow, you could possibly do green also. So, what do y'all think? Oh, love it, love it. Thanks, Carol. Me too. Me too what? She said she likes the dots on there. Oh, okay, but there you go. Bill, you're reading the comments. Well, I, but we said me too. That could be <laughs> okay, a, one ahead. of the 500 comments that have come through. Not bad at all. Now, this, I'm not doing stitching on this, y'all. Don't ask me to do stitching. 
I'm not going to do stitching on it. Ooh, them. Karen Chan's going to take it to another level. She says she's going to put the dots on the outside. Nice. That'll now take I them off the, their game. Now, I could put the dots on the outside of it. Oh, she who gonna, said that? Who, Karen, who's, Karen Chan. Karen, this card this was This is her first finished. time here, I think. And she's already Karen, taking it to another level. This was this was already supposed Karen to be Chan finished. Y'all blame y'all blame it on Karen. Cause she's she said, Karen said it. Oh. Okay, so I'm going for me, I would start in the corner there and then just kind of work my way in. I don't <laughs> want them to be lined up perfectly. Hey, when I put my hand in there, Margie Miller says, Bill, you almost gave me a heart attack in Tennessee. You know. <laughs> oh, Margie, how you doing? A word. Tracy would have mailed you mine and she would have snatched out if I had touched it. Exactly. So we're going to do, we're taking, see how the ideas just come? And I might go in that and That is more. cute. Look at it. Okay. Karen Chan is, is sending crying, smiling face emojis. Oh, sweet. That looks super cute. There you go. Oh, here comes someone coming up the stairs with her new camera. That's our daughter just walked in the door. Ariel, come look at this card. She's like a cat. She's just getting in from school. Exactly. That's our youngest, Ariel, otherwise known on YouTube as Curlfriend Ari. Got a house full of YouTubers. She'll be like, Ooh. Mom, I'm recording. Madonna Freeman says you could stitch on both sides of the ribbon. You know what? Y'all are just... Madonna Freeman <laughs> all coming to take up it to another level now. Good what ideas, okay. What's going on up in here? Birdie. Hi, Ariel. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Hello, everyone. Can you put your hand... I can't. You can't put your hand in there? You no. Nail, nails all tore up, huh? Yeah. Just do a quick wave yeah. over. Hi. <laughs> wow, that was, <laughs> that was Ariel's giving y'all a quick hello. I'm really liking the way this turned out. This looks so fun. And I'm going to have to put this in a corner somewhere. So Everyone Bill, says hi, Ariel. So Bill doesn't do anything to my card. I'm going to put this somewhere where it I'm can dry. I'm going to put by it. This looks so cute. Okay, so... <laughs> Who's enablers? Someone said you all are enablers. There you go. <laughs> A bunch of high daughters. Adorables. Oh, I'm glad Karen Chan love loved her ideal manifest on YouTube on this video. Oh, nice. See, you made history. Ron Marquis is here. I like both, too. And that was a good idea. Okay? That's a good idea. Thank you. Yes. Let's see. Uh, let's keep going down. Beautiful. Hi, daughter. But thank you, Renee Neighbors, for, for about a 17 thumbs up. Oh, thank you. T Tony Davis said, I hope you feel the entire inside with dots. You can stitch on both sides of the ribbon. Uh -huh. Stitch man. on both sides, yeah. Uh, Mumbly Bird I love says, pink too. so pretty. I love pink. Me too. Love it. I love your stitching and can put it on anything that I can. Yes, you can. Tracy has her saying. She says, when in doubt, stitch, stitch it, it out. out. <laughs> you can start there. Sounds like a t-shirt. Run out of something to do, just start thinking, I think I'll stitch something. There you go. So I hope this inspired you. I hope it gave you just a few ideas. You know, um, oh, yeah, we got to show you the other cards. Let me gently move these out of the way. I'm going to show I'll you. I'll move it for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you the cards from that that, that um, they were talking about with the heart dog from our next stamp set. Just a little preview. I'll show you the whole set itself. Now, I understand. Tracy has probably colored 50 of these things in different ways, but this is this card. And that is the heart dog. 
If you look notice, how adorable that is. Every a part of it. And these are on our. All of this is on our stamp set. This every, I just hand. I drew this by hand. Every but. part of the dog is made with a heart. The ears, the face, the body, the feet, the tail. Is it heart dog? Adorable. And that's just <laughs> one of the Im many images on this next stamp set. And this was the other one that we showed this morning during the live. This is a, these are both. Look at this. Look how one stamp set can be two completely different um, cards. You pull the uh, bear. The versatility yeah. is just awesome. Bless your heart. Now use some sparkly stuff. You have the dimensionality. So these have tutorials coming. When, well, once we release the stamp. <laughs> Which will be in a few days. There you go. But isn't that the cutest? So y'all get to see a sneak peek of what's to come on that next stamp set. Absolutely adorable. And Ian Harris says, I'm in love with Heart Dog. And that's what I call is him. It I call Heart him Heart Dog. Dog. I mean, the amount of... Y'all sent me a bunch of messages, behind the scenes messages about that. Y'all were like, oh my goodness, Heart Dog. <laughs> Maybe uh, what the, are we going to call the, the Heart, Heart Dog Heartly? stamp set? Hartley. <laughs> <laughs> we have to give him a name. Hartley. That's a good name. Hardy or Hartley? I like Hartley. <laughs> Yeah. Quarter Marine says, I love the way his ears raised up. Isn't that the cutest? So I hope y'all got a few ideas. Still got my cards drying here. Put them far away from Bill so he doesn't see them. But um, just want y'all to thank y'all for giving us such an awesome release day today. All the wonderful feedback when we... Because I want y'all to love all of our stamp sets. That that's just my goal is for y'all to love every single stamp set. <laughs> that's true. It's... And and to have fun with it. My goal is to be able to be able to create a lot of different things with the stamp sets, but I also want y'all to enjoy using it. I want to see what ideas you come up with. Um, I'm getting ready to plan a group on Facebook. It's going to be a mindless crafting group specifically for those of you that are using our stamps. Um, I'll make sure I pass on the information for that once it's up and ready. Um, but we're going to do a couple of challenges in that group as well. So I want to thank y'all for joining us this evening. I had a good time altering my card, too. Thanks for that idea with using Karen look at Chan. that. Look, look, I already messed it up. <laughs> she did it. I did it. Hi, yeah, Asia so. Rutledge. Asia in the house. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and sign off and relax because we got to hit the we got to hit the post office tomorrow. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. We got orders to process. Yes. And we'll be at the post office. Maybe I should alert them that we're coming. <laughs> and make sure. Oh, they look at us like, "What on earth?" So we'll see y'all soon. Any questions? Do we have any questions on here? Uh, let me see if there are any questions. I see some thank yous on. on there. The Harvest Center of Atlanta is on here. Hi there. Let's see. Uh, oh, Margie Mo said, you guys are growing in leaps and about. Yet we're growing and we're learning. That's how wonderful this is, is that y'all get to be on this journey from the beginning with us. And we all get to grow together. And the thing is that y'all have, we. it seemed like we had just passed 100,000 subscribers. Now we're up to like, we soon be up to about 114,000 of y'all following true. us. You know what's really interesting, and I really meant that when I said we all grow together. For instance, when Karen Chan says, hey, put the dots on the inside, we grew. Yep. We all grew together. Exactly. We're all growing together. So for those of you that are new subscribers, thanks for joining the family, because uh, we are one big happy family. That's who we are. Exactly. So we're going to sign off, Bill. And just in case, for newcomers who are trying to figure out where to get the stamp set from, I'm going to put the link in there one more time. Oh, someone wanted to know when it was going to be released. Jerry Reed, we're not sure because there was a little bit, uh, we ran behind a little bit on this particular um, stamp set. It should be released actually soon. It should be getting here very shortly. So as soon as it's, we're not going to hold on to it. As soon as we get it, we're going to release it. Right, it's going to go up. Yep, as soon as we get it.
So any more comments? Any questions? You no, know, basically bye. Stuff like that. Thanks for sharing. Okay. Uh, very excited to see the entire video later. Uh, good night, everyone. Have a best night. Stuff like that. All right. Well, y'all take care. And we'll see you soon.